Good morning. Welcome to Deborah's Delicious Dishes Kitchen here in Orange, New Jersey. Give an honor to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ because he's so worthy to be acknowledged and praised on this day and any other day because without God, there could be no me, no you, no us. Um, I started off my video with my um, mask on because my household is sick. Um, three quarters of the household was sick. And um, the sea have hit us. But by the grace of God, um, I'm negative, I'm okay. So I'm just staying isolated from everybody. From everybody. I'm in my office right now. Um, I just had to come up here and do the Bible, the continuation of the Bible in 52 Weeks for Women. Because ever since Christmas, I know I haven't been on too much, but, um, you know, just coming up, seeing a couple of comments and trying to hit, you know, little things to show that, you know, that I'm on people channels to say hello or whatever. But we have gone through. But um, God is so awesome. He really is because um, I just thank him for what he's allowing to happen in my life. You know, um, surgery is getting close, near. I went and done all my pre-admission testing. Um, only a couple more days now, uh, three weeks, and it's about to go down. But I'm here to do the Bible in 52 Weeks for Women because I know we all need this, and some of you have been diligently with me, and um, you know, you really into this Bible in 52 weeks. So we're coming down to the close almost. But I had to come up here. And even though I don't have, um, I didn't test positive, I'm still feeling a little down. So I'm just keeping my, you know, trying to keep my vitals up and drinking ginger tea and taking meds, you know, just to be on the safe side. Okay, so we're going to start this right here, guys. The Bible in 52 weeks for women. So now we are on 47. It says, expect it, see it, achieve it. Daily readings. Uh, we're not even going to do that. Let's talk about expect, expectancy for a moment. A woman who is pregnant knows that there is a life growing inside of her. She knows that at the set time that what she is expecting will come forth. There is no doubt in her mind because she sees and feels the growth. Her body has changed. Her mindset has changed. And as time goes on, her level of it level of expectancy changes because she knows that any day now new birth will come forth and her life will change forever that's how we have to be too that's how we have to be too if we're going to reach greater things our expectancy has to grow to the point where when we know god is going to help us accomplish what we can't yet comprehend or imagine you may not know all god has in store for you but you've got to expect him to do great things through you in fact, you have to believe it to the point that you can envision it before you actually see it. You have to envision it and then position yourself to accomplish whatever those goals are. In the book of Haggai, this was the message that God was trying to relay to the nation of Judah. They were at a place where they were positioned to move forward. They had rebuilt the temple, but they feared it didn't match the beauty, but they feared it didn't match the beauty of the first one. When Solomon built the first temple, he spared no expense in material and laborers. What they saw before them, now they didn't have the splendor of what they had seen before. They were, they were comparing their presence to their past. Sometimes we're the same way. Sometimes we limit ourselves because of our age, our gender, our physical abilities, the list goes on and on. We see our flaws and we can't see ourselves on a higher level. We compare ourselves to those we see on television or social media. We compare our gifts and goals, our abilities against theirs. We tell ourselves that we're not beautiful or educated enough. We doubt ourselves and we place limitations upon ourselves because we think we're not up to par. Please be encouraged and know that there's nothing you can't achieve when God is with you. You've got to be willing to put in the work to stretch yourself in order to achieve the ministry position, elected office, or next career level. Just as God promised Hagar, he's going to be with you every step of the way. Please know, my dear sister, that there is more to you than meets the eye. There is greatness in you. And God is going to do amazing work through you. 
Don't compare yourself to others. You are exactly who God wants you to be. Just position yourself for him to do even greater things through you. Expect it, see it, and you will achieve it. Points to ponder. How do you see yourself average, great, or neither? Why? Do you have high expectations for yourself, your family, and or your career? If so, what are those expectations? If not, why? Have you ever found yourself comparing your abilities to others? How did that help or hinder you? This is a prayer. My son is coughing. I'm going to go give him some therapy. Let me hurry up and do this. This is my prayer. Dear Lord, I acknowledge that you are Lord of God, of all. You are the Lord of my past, present, and future. I trust your plans for me. I trust you. I trust that you know what's best for me. Help me not be distracted or hindered in any way, but help me remain excited and in expectation of the plans that you have for my future. Help me see myself as you see me, for you are a great God, and I am expecting you to do great things for me. In Jesus' name, amen. I hope that this has been an enlightenment to someone. Like I said, um, my family is down sick from the grandchildren to the sons and my daughter. And God has um, been watching over us. And um, I will be right back. Okay, so now I'm back. I can take this off. Okay, so that was the Bible in 52 Weeks for Women. I felt compelled. Excuse me one second. Okay, I felt compelled to come up here and to, um, you know, because I know people that were really looking forward to me doing this session. And even though I'm a little under the weather and um, my household is sick, I said I have to come up here because somebody needs to hear this. So I have to be diligent to God and do his word if I want him to, um, to just be an obedient soldier to him. And if I want him to sustain me and to help me and my family and my loved ones out. And my YouTube family. So um, I'm not going to be up too much. I did a lot um, the week of Christmas because I know the surgery is coming up and there's um, a lot of things I want to get out the way. I still have a lot of videos in my vault, but um, right now I have to concentrate on my family and concentrate on me. And there's always something, you know, dealing with, <clears throat> excuse me, dealing with family and dealing with life in general. I haven't seen my granddaughters and that's kind of like really getting up in here because even though they're just downstairs and Harmony is around the corner, everybody had to be quarantined, you know, because of the issue, you know, because all the men in here work. So hence they have to go to work and they cover themselves and we try to stay away from people and, you know, kind of like beat ourselves, but things happen in life, you know, so I'm just praying for them and um, praying for myself and, um, that's about it. Oh, I just wanted to show you guys the little office I fixed up. Um, it's not much, but it's, you know, it's my little office and I love it. So I'm going to show you that. Just give me one second. And please pray for us, guys, and I'll be praying for you and yours. Um, just know Miss Debs is still here, but when family takes the first run, that's it. It takes the first run. So I have to be here for my family and be here for myself so I won't get sick and I can go in and have this surgery and be on my little merry way of what I'm going to do. So... Let me just show you the office, and we got this fixed up. Um, well, it's been on the works, but it's not much, but it's it's my little office, okay? So I'll be right with you guys. Okay, so this is, I know you can see my camera. This is my office door. Keep out mom's office, private. <laughs> okay, now let's just step in, guys. So over here, I got my little... Things that I got covered up over there, like Christmas stuff. This is my little water dispenser. Got some family pictures on the wall. Got this picture of Bermuda because my kids' father originated from Bermuda, so that's a part of their life. Over here, got just the um, <laughs> air conditioner. I took out the window. These are just things that keep me motivated out about God, footprint, candles, and a plaque, little angels saying certain things here, another um, desktop computer that I have to get fixed, this right here says believe, another little angel, my son is up there coughing his brains out, that's my little file cabinet over there, 
Over here, I got my office paper. Um, I know you guys can hear them. Most, I'm so sorry. Um, this is my printer right here. And then I have um, printer paper. Then I have regular notebook paper under there. Then letters. Some extra ink over there. All my little things about God. And stuff on the wall up here. And I'm sitting down at my desk. That's my little tripod over there. And this is one of my favorite pictures. This picture has been with me for years. It's like when I thought I was walking by myself, then I noticed that God was carrying me. That's the footprint. footprint. And I love that because it always makes me relate to God is carrying me in my hardest times when I think I'm alone. So this is the printer. This is my little, <laughs> my collection right here of um, laundry detergent. Yeah. Okay, over here I have my envelopes, uh, pens, pencils, uh, post-its, index cards, motivational books down here. I don't know if you can see it. It's a little dark. Then I have my little business cards down there for when I do my catering. Then I have notebooks right there, little uh, jogging notebooks to just jog down things. I have the lamp over here. I have here my little small chrome, just something to keep me busy and working. Got my little speakers. Got my signed boss lady, Marilyn Monroe. You know, that's my girl. That's my little cup. Hand sanitizers, def different little... Um, Steno books and all types of comp composition books, my clipboards, my portfolios. These two pictures, I love New York and Chicago. That's a picture of me seeing Deb's desk, a D, which is my initial. Angel, baby. Over here, I got little plaques just say, happy new home, sweet home. A beautiful day begins with a beautiful mindset. My clock, some of my family members, my granddaughter, calendar. Over here, this is my little serenity table. I have my um, infuser right here, and it has, like, different smelling oils in it that just keeps me motivated and in a good frame of mind. I have a calendar right here. I mean, a candle right here with Jesus, some cherub angels here, air freshener. This right here lights up and water runs out of it, and then this is just my little music box back there that have different um, colors, another lamp, a drawing from Leilani, calendar, count your blessings. This is another little uh, knickknack I got to keep me motivated, Black Girl Magic. Um, this is all my staple removers, uh, scissors. One of the grandkids put that in there. Pencils, um, permanent markers, um, highlighters, pens, uh, white out staples, staplers, tape. That's another one of my things. And over here I have like um, the thumbtacks and paper clips. And under here, just Christmas stuff I got stored under my little desk. And that's another um, air conditioner that we took out for the uh, winter. Then I got water over here. Then over here, that's my little coat rack. Pictures up here. That's the bottom of the picture. And that is it, guys. This is Miss Debs. And let me see if I can get me just sitting in a chair. And this is just me sitting in my chair. So I'm going to just pan around. Yeah, this is my little sanctuary, and that's my exercise, oh, the exercise bike. So, um, <clears throat> this is the exercise bike that once I get these knees done, maybe I'll be making some work out of it. <laughs> so, I'm just going to go back in my room and retrieve to my room and try to stay, um, away from the germs and stuff, you know. Thank you guys for joining me. 
So that was a look, a little look at Ms. Deb's office. First of all, it was the book in um, 52 weeks, the Bible in 52 weeks for women. So I hope that has been an enlightenment to someone. God bless you all. May heaven smile down upon you. I'm getting ready to go back into bed, but I will be checking out a couple of channels. God bless you.